Hello and today we're going to talk about my trip to Santiago and would I go again? Welcome back to my channel. So I recently took a tour, it was an escorted group tour through South America covering Chile, Bolivia and Peru and our first stop was Santiago. So we flew in from Heathrow, changing at Brazil, and arrived in Santiago on Sunday afternoon about lunchtime. I was in an escorted group tour and in my group were nine of us, three couples and three single ladies. And it just so happened on the flight from Brazil to Santiago that the three single ladies, we were all sat together. So I got to meet them pretty quickly. And as we arrived at our, our hotel, I told them that I was going to go off exploring and one of them asked if she could tag along with me. And that's great because it's always nice to have numbers with you. So we got quickly freshened up and we got ready to go and see what Santiago was all about. And the first stop was San Cristobal Hill. Now to reach San Cristobal Hill, we took an Uber from our hotel to where you can catch the cable car. And we queued for about 20 minutes for the tickets, which were only a couple of pounds. And that included the funicular down. And we were soon on the cable car and the views that you get over San Cristobal Hill and all the parks below, but and also of the city were just amazing. It was a very special ride up. When you reach the top of St Christabel Hill, you're greeted with the most wonderful music that's playing through the speakers throughout the park. And then you have the big statue of Mary just overlooking the whole of the city. And the gardens are just so well kept and so wonderful to walk around. You also have lots of memorials around lots of crosses. It's just a very special place. We spent some time up at the top where you can sit on the steps around the Mary statue and just admire the views. They go on for miles. There's also a lovely church there that you can go and have a look around. It's a very lovely place. And when you're finished, you take the funicular back down and that's a good good ride and lots of fun on its own. So my first experience of Chile being San Cristobal Hill was absolutely fantastic. The atmosphere and the music and all the religious emblems, it was just a real awesome experience. Then you come off the funicular and you come straight into what's known as Bella Vista. And you may have seen lots of Instagram pictures of Bella Vista. It's very famous for all the art on the walls. And uh, we did get a little bit lost, but uh, this is what happened. We wandered around the streets and we saw some of the street art. And it's a very busy and vibrant place to be. But what was really special was we walked around one corner and we walked straight into this massive street party and we joined in. So I really do recommend that you go to Bella Vista, it was such a wonderful atmosphere and it was so great to get caught up in a street party. But after that we tried to walk through some more of Bella Vista and get some more photos of the murals that we were expecting to see but I think we took a wrong turn. And we ended up walking well, quite a long way around Santiago and what we were looking for was the big public market. 
and we ended up walking through a park in Santiago that runs along the main street and it was great to see how people just live. So after a couple of hours of being lost, we found the public market and it was closed. So we had a little look around the empty stalls and admired the architect and then continued going for a walk around the city and we got ourselves lost again. Sometimes it's great to get lost in a city. It's one of my favourite things to do because then you go and find things that you didn't know you were going to find. And um, it was just an amazing city to walk around. I never felt unsafe while we were walking around. Yes, it was nice to have someone with me, um, but I never felt unsafe and we really enjoyed it. And even when we were in the middle of the party in Bella Vista and we had cameras around our necks, we never felt unsafe at all. But it was an exhausting first day because remember we had just flown in so we had a bit of jet lag as well. So we gr grabbed an Uber and we went back to the hotel for the night. Now we'll say that Ubers were very easy to get in Santiago and was definitely the safest way to get around. Especially as our hotel was about 20 minutes drive from the city centre. So make sure you have Uber on your phone. So then the next morning we had a city tour of Santiago with the group. Now unfortunately this was a Monday and nothing is open on a Monday. So we didn't get to go to St Lucia Hill which I'm very very disappointed about. And that was one of the highlights that I was hoping we would do. We started the city tour in the park by Centennial um, which has a beautiful lake and lots of people participating in activities and the skyline of the city from the park is very nice to see. We then moved on to look at the government palace from the outside and then went to Plaza de Armas and the Metropolitan Cathedral. Oh yeah, that's everywhere. So after the actual group tour, us three single ladies went off on our own to explore the streets of Santiago and we just spent the afternoon getting lost. And we actually did get lost, a lot. We walked around for hours, but it was just a wonderful city to get lost in. It was just wonderful. The people were so kind, so helpful. And what I will say about Santiago is it has such an amazing vibe. Every time you walk round a corner, there's music playing. <laughs> Just so musical. It's an absolutely wonderful place to go. And would I go again? Yes, I want to go again. I want to do the things that I didn't get to see, including St Lucia Hill and all the museums that were closed on a Monday. So I would recommend it. I had a wonderful time. So the next day, we're flying off early to go to San Pedro. So I'm going to leave you with the footage of us flying over the Andes Mountains, which was spectacular. And I'll see you next time in San Pedro. Thank you for watching.